Hey guys, today we're back with another meltdown review. And today on the channel, we're going to be melting down the Caracal 816 and 11 half inch piston upper. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be uh, melting down the Caracal 816 11 and a half inch upper. Uh, so, before we get started with this, a very special thank you to Caracal USA for sending us this upper to melt down. If it was not for them, we would not be able to melt down this upper. Uh, that being said, very interesting meltdown coming, and I, I cannot wait for this one because a um, little bit of specs behind this one is that the 816 itself is a iteration of the 416 which we'll get all we'll get into all that here in a second i'm a little bit ahead of myself but uh, once again a very special thank you to caracal usa for sending us this upper to melt down so next up we have um, optics planet they did send us every bit of the ammunition that we're going to be using in this review today so if it wasn't for them, we would not be able to do it because that's i'm expecting a lot of ammunition through this one to be honest with you guys um but if you'd like to check them out, use the code GWEB, G -W -E -B -B, and you'll get 7% back on your entire order. And if you use the link in the description below whenever you make a purchase on Optics Planet, a little bit of it will come back to help us. It doesn't matter if you use the code or not, a little bit of it will help us with that. So if you want to support the channel in that way and get you some good uh, stuff, check out Optics Planet, use the code in the link in below. So guys, I appreciate them as well. Uh, third and final sponsor of this review will be Center Target Farms and Indoor Range in London, Kentucky. Uh, once again, I am an employee with them, so how we do this is that uh, whenever you're employee on the books, I can take out this fully automatic lower. We can melt them down. We take it back to the store. That way, we're compliant with everything with the federal government, the ATF, and all that, because that's the last thing I want to do is get in trouble with them. But a uh, very special thank you to Center Target. You can use the link in the description below, and it'll take you straight to their website. You can check out everything they have in stock online. And if you're in the area of London, Kentucky, swing by and check them out because they have you no and use firearms in stock at all time and any accessory you would want so once again a very special thank you to center target firearms and indoor range in london kentucky all right guys so now getting back to the upper itself uh this is a caracal 816 and 11 and a half inch so a little bit of backstory on these uh, the people who made the hk416 uh, they left and then went to SIG and made the 516. Once they got done with SIG, they left and went to Caracal and made the 816. So pretty much this is the third generation or third iteration, like I said a minute ago, of the HK416. So I'm interested to see how this will end up running because this is a piston system. And uh, as you all seen in the past, some pistons run a decent amount. And other ones, you know, they, they can... They can fail pretty quick. Uh, this one here, though, is used by a lot of European militaries all over the world, and it's now uh, starting to go into the hands of law enforcement military here in the United States. So this is uh, this should be a very interesting meltdown, and I can't wait to do it. That being said, um, we will run it until she quits, and then uh, you know we'll take a. Uh, We'll figure out what we shot then uh, by using our camera system and all that. And then at the end of it, if something goes wrong or it quits running, we're going to take this hook, we're going to hook into it, and we're going to switch to a rugged, uh, more gas into the system. So right now we're going to be running on normal, though. Just so you all can see that. That's why I've got Mr. Hook in my pocket here because I sure couldn't touch it with my hands. But we'll see if that makes a difference, and we'll try and do that as quick as possible. And if it makes a difference and we start, you know, it starts back working again, we'll run it until it quits altogether. But, guys, uh, very interesting meltdown, and I cannot wait to see what happens because this is one I've looked forward to for a long time. So, guys, let's go ahead and get to work. All right, guys, Caracal 816. Let's go ahead and get to work. Here's T Dog!
She's a barley of trucking, boys. You try that one mag right there. Uh, I don't know. Okay. You want to adjust it? Adjust yeah. Let's go ahead and adjust it. Can you jerk it out of my back pocket? Yeah. It's always good to have an extra set on set of hands on board. Let me tell you, boys. Finish that one out if it'll work. Yeah. Now, boys, it's like she ain't getting no gas back into the system. Let me raise this. Yeah, go ahead and throw it up for me if you don't care. There we go. No boys, I believe she's done for. Lord have mercy, what is going on today? <sighs> All right, guys. That is the end of the Caracal 816. Let's go ahead and uh, let her cool off. We'll do a round count, and we will see how she's done. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we've let this thing cool off for a little bit, and it's still, uh, it's still red to the touch. I mean, I'm telling you something. This little rain here is hitting. It sounds like a little miniature 22 is going off but anyway final round count on the caracal 816 is 587 rounds 587 so uh, wasn't what we was expecting i was expecting to go a little bit longer especially with the military service and everything else it's got which at the same time you know that the uh, meltdowns it's putting it as in severe of a uh, a situation as it can be because i mean we're shooting this thing a lot more in a combat load and you know i've said that for most of the meltdowns but either way it goes though 587 rounds uh failure point in this one from what i can tell the barrel is still in line i, I think it, it's not looking like it's too bad bent so i don't think that the entire piston system's pulled out of it uh the gas system though uh whenever we was trying to adjust it there at the end this thing if i if i didn't have uh if i had gloves on or that little one thing i had a minute ago you can sit here and spin it i mean it's just like it's not even uh it's not even in place here we go thank you so as you can see here i mean it's it's not even got a detent left to it it's it's free spinning so i don't know if that has anything to do with it or not uh we will uh, send this back to Caracal USA and see if they want to take a look at it, and we will report back on it later and let you all know what they say. But as you can see with that, guys, it's it's free spinning. I mean, I, I would say that was the failure point of it, that something's going wrong with that. Um, the gun itself, it was running pretty good in the beginning, and then it started uh, having a little bit. I could tell it was slowing down pretty quickly, which is a uh, pretty, pretty easy means, especially with a piston system that something's going wrong with it either the uh operating tube or operating rod is uh pulling out from it or something along them lines but uh, that is the what i can tell right here just looking at it not taking it apart as fair system is with this gas block up here but like i said we will uh we'll send it off to caraco usa if they want to take a look at it and they can let us know what uh what went down with it what happened with it and if they want to send us another one an improved one later on in the future we will revisit this meltdown and see what it can do but overall though guys barrel is white hot so uh, you know it lost a pretty decent amount of the color to it but it don't look like it's drooping at all so i'm about 100 percent for certain it's right there in the gas block but 587 rounds that's a little bit on the lower mid end of the meltdowns we've done uh we've got a chart up right now that will show you all our current uh place holdings from the last uh, meltdown being the pof 415 uh but 
I don't know, guys. It's not been a good day for the piston system because uh, not only did we have the POF 415 fail on us pretty quick, uh, but this one did as well, and I was expecting it to go a lot longer. But either way it goes, we'll send it back, and we'll get a diagnosis on it, and we will let you all know in the near future on what happened with it. So, guys, once again, a very special thank you to Caracal USA for sending us this upper meltdown. Uh, if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving a link in the description below to where you can check them out on their website, or if you want to swing by Optics Planet and check them out there as well, uh, Optics Planet does sell them there as well. And also a very special thank you to Center Target Farms and Indoor Range in London, Kentucky for the Daniel Defense fully automatic lower. Uh, if it was not for them, we would not be able to melt this up or down. So once again, I'll be leaving the link in the description below to the YouTube channel and their website so you can swing by and check them out. And if you're in the area of London, Kentucky, check them out in store. They've got everything you could think of that a gun store should have. Very nice store and I appreciate them a lot. And once again, a very special thank you to Optics Planets for the ammunition in this review. If it wasn't for them, we would not be able to afford to do these meltdowns because we don't make a dime from these. So, guys, once again, I appreciate y'all viewing as always. Leave you a comment in the comment section. We'll only get back to you as soon as possible. But thank y'all for viewing as always. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, guys, so this is the information that we received from Caracal after we did send them this upper. So something we also found out after we got done filming is that we had the um, gas system in adverse condition, which means that we was getting we was getting more gas into the system. Reason we done this for is because prior to us shooting every single video, uh, we always test and see the ejection pattern, which one looks the best for the normal ejection pattern with an AR-15. With this one here, for some reason, it was ejecting better with the adverse condition or the system whenever it is receiving more gas into uh, the uh, piston and all that. So <clears throat> they believe that this has uh, some reason to think that, uh, that this is why the actual upper failed as soon as it did versus some other uppers that we've done before in the past. But this is the official uh, email that we received from Caracal in reference to the meltdown. Uh, good afternoon, Ben. We received the ERGI this morning and complete inspection. I've attached the photos of the components and the bore scope. The barrel still looks really good, and I would bet... Uh, we could still get comparable accuracy out of it as we have a solid 80 inches of land and grooves. You would expect there to be far amount of flashing about three-fourths of an inch in front of the throat, but the lands and grooves still look great from about the inch beyond the flashing to the muzzle. Uh, the gas port is eroded and it would uh, be from constant superheated uh, gases over 600 plus rounds. We all, in all, the barrel looks great. <clears throat> We've determined the uh, failure to be caused by the de uh, deformation of the gas valve detent and plunger springs. With the gas valve turned to the adverse setting, the detent is compressed as it springs. Uh, the heat along with the spring compression causes the spring to essentially lose its memory and conform to the compression state. This allows the gas to vent to rotate, the gas valve to rotate within the gas block and effectively position itself between gas ports. This eliminates the ability for the gas to get into the gas block and push the piston. A secondary breakage was located on the piston range where we found two of the gas rings were broken due to the overpressure of the adverse gas setting. This would not cause the rifle to cease function as there was still a functioning gas ring in the piston itself, in the gas piston itself, uh, seals to the gas block when returned home. The head, the head space remains well within the chamber dimensions, standards showing an incremental reading of 1.4656 with a max for each 5.56 times 45 millimeter NATO round being 1.4736, and the minimum headspace requirement of 1.4636. For reference, a semi spec of a 223 rim is 1.4636. Um, going on from that, the piston itself remains in perfect condition. The gas valve is in perfect condition. All through the gas flashing shows, the valve was rotated off of the fixed position and is not allowing gas back into the gas block, which we expected to find based on the detent spring. Intervals of the upper are very still, very clean and have shown no signs of wear on the receiver, bolt carrier group, or bolt. So, from that being said, they have now sent us the old upper back and a new upper as well to test with the normal condition, which we will do very soon in the future. So, look forward to that. Uh, happening to see if we can expect any more or any less. That being said, what do you all expect? Do you think that this will go longer on the normal condition than the adverse? Um, at first, I thought that it wouldn't really matter, but after reading some of this and looking at the pictures, I believe it very well could, but we shall find out in the near future. But I'd like to give you all that update to let you all know how everything's going with this exact meltdown. 
and what the actual company found itself. So, guys, once again, I appreciate y'all viewing as always. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. But once again, guys, thank you for viewing always. Like and subscribe for more Meltdown reviews, and we'll see you all in the next video.